Hi, so before I install this flapper, I wanted to mention something that no other video or even the directions mentioned. And that is that sometimes you have to adjust this float up and down uh, before you actually install it. And the reason why you have to adjust this float is there might be instances where the flapper closes too quickly, in which case the water entering the bowl is insufficient. So there's too little water entering the bowl, meaning this thing is closing too fast. Uh, so in that case, you're going to have to adjust this float lower towards this thing, uh, towards this flapper. And the way you do that is most of these will either have a clip or a rubber washer at the bottom and you simply move these up and down. So for example, this, this rubber piece, I, I can move up along the chain, in which case I can move this float higher and then lock it in place by pushing the other end of the washer against it. So uh, there's two situations. Either there's too much water entering the toilet bowl, in which case you will move this higher along the chain. But if there's not enough water entering, meaning this thing's closing too fast, you move this float towards, towards this flapper. So um, that's one of the tips I wanted to mention before actually installing this because you might run into that problem and not understand why it's happening. And also the instructions don't actually explain this. I didn't see any other video that explains this. Uh, they just explain basically the obvious, which is hooking, you know, these rubber holes into the, um, you know, into the toilet bowl. So, but that's really what I wanted to mention. So you, you might have to adjust it several times before it becomes perfect. So, so it's not that the flapper is not compatible with your bowl. You know, that's not the reason. The reason is you have to adjust this float. Um, but that's really what I wanted to mention and I'm going to go ahead and install this. So I briefly did want to show you other style of floats. So for example, if you have this chain type float and it is locked in by basically a plastic washer, the way to adjust it, and this is less convenient than the rubber washer, is to actually remove these and uh, you know simply move your float up and down based on that. Uh, again, this is uh, less convenient because you actually have to remove these a plastic placeholders and put it along the right length of chain um, but that's the other type of float that you might run into um, and let me go ahead and actually install this now